Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 85 rated footies Gabriel Jesus. So in 18 matches from the striker position, he managed to score me 18 goals, what is very good. And if you do want to go and complete this SBC, it will cost you around 70,000 coins, but I managed to do it for free just using untradeable players in my club. So make sure you know you look through all the untradeables in your club first, because um, you know you might potentially be able to do it for cheaper. So now getting into some of his in-game stats there, as you can see, he's got 87 short pass, 83 shot power, he's got 5-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, he's got high, high work rates, what... Um, usually isn't the best for a striker, you know, because they go a little bit too far back. But for Gabriel Jesus, it seemed to right. He always seemed to be in, you know, the right position. So his work rates weren't really a problem. So getting into his first pro, what is his stamina? This guy has 99 stamina, so, you know, he can go all game. And um, that's, you know, a really important thing this FIFA, especially if you're using this guy in foot champs. You know, from the first minute to the last minute, you know he'll always be at his best. So that's a really important factor, having really high stamina on this FIFA. And then the main reason that I would recommend getting this card is just because this guy's agility is honestly incredible. He's definitely the most agile player I've used this FIFA. You know, more agile than Aubameyang, more agile than Ronaldo, even more agile than Neymar, in my opinion, you know. He does skill moves so quickly as well. He's definitely like the quickest player at performance skill moves as well. So if you're looking for, you know, a really quick agile player, then Gabriel Jesus is the player for you. And then the final pro I could find with this card was his dribbling. And this guy's dribbling is honestly incredible. I think he has 92 dribbling. So, you know, just looking at his face card stat, he's one of the highest dribblers on the game, just behind players like Neymar and Ronaldo. But his dribbling is no different, you know, compared to theirs. He keeps it really close to his feet when running past players. And, you know, his dribbling is that good. It sort of feels like you're doing LT, RT dribbling all the time, you know, even though you're just doing normal dribbling. So we're going to get a really nice goal there with Gabriel Jesus. I've been trying to score one of those goals for quite a while now, and I finally scored it, so I'm pretty happy with that. So getting into the only con I could find with this card, and that was his strength. He's not the strongest of players, even though he has 75 physical on his face card stat. I think his strength is only actually 63, so he gets pushed off the wall quite a lot. You know, sometimes he can manage to, you know, um, outstrength players, but most of the time, he will get pushed off the ball. So the next chance here we get with Gabriel Jesus. We get it on the wing here. We run inside, do a nice ball roll here, pass the defender. And look at that. One of the rarest skill finishes on the game. The Thierry Henry um, fancy pass finish. So a really nice finish there. So... He has the five star skill moves as well, what is a very important thing this FIFA. As you'll see, I use a lot of skill moves. Um, so yeah, it's really good that he has the five star skill moves. And I'd say if you also did the Musa Footies SBC, these two combined combined will be, you know, honestly an incredible striker partnership. So if you've done the SBC, I am definitely recommend, you know, playing in a formation with two strikers because those two together are going to be honestly incredible. So guys, this has been the review. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.